Hello and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're going to take a look at the My Smart Blinds home automation solution for existing horizontal blind, window blinds. Now, if you got vertical blinds, these will not work. These are for horizontal blinds, the ones that fold up and down. And I have these throughout my house. Been looking for a solution that would allow me to automate my existing blinds without having to replace them with more expensive automated blinds. And my smart blinds was the exact solution that I was looking for. So let's take a look at the installation process, how to get started, and of course, how they work once they're installed. With that said, let's go. All right, I've taken the liberty of taking the blind out of the window. And this is a standard blind. There's one cord, of course, to pull the blind all the way up, which I've done. I advise doing that before you take the blind down. And then this is the string or the cords that you're going to remove. These were the ones that manually opened and closed it. You're not going to use these anymore. As a matter of fact, they're going to be in the way of the installation. There's also two brackets here, uh, one on each side. These brackets are basically designed to kind of stop this rod from going too far one way or the other. So I'm going to first of all just pull these out to the sides here. It's best to always just keep all your parts kind of in one spot so you don't you know, lose anything and you visually kind of see where everything needs to go once you're done. So let me get this one out. All right, now that I removed both of those, there's usually going to be uh, some kind of rubber stoppers that kind of keep this rod from sliding too far one way or the other. You can usually just pull it enough to clear those stoppers or those pieces of rubber so that you can take those out as well. And then once you've done that, the rod should come out freely. Now I'm not going to take it all the way out because I simply don't need to. I can take it out maybe just that far uh, because it is going to need to go back in. Now we need to remove the manual open and close um, pulley system here. Now in order to get this out, First, I've got to go ahead and take these off because these will not come back through the hole if they're still on there. So I've learned that the hard way. Let's just go ahead and remove these knots. Undo the knots, take both of those out because they will not go through the hole when it's time to remove this manual, um, this manual uh, open and closer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just tilt that to the side so that I can remove the whole thing. And again, that all comes out. You can put it away, keep it, because if you ever decide to go back to manual blinds, you will need to put it back in. So I'm just going to put this off to the side for now. And now we are ready for the installation. So there are two pieces to the kit. There's the My Smart Blinds, the home automation kit, and then the optional solar panel, which keeps the battery in the kit charged. If you don't have the solar panel, you can still charge the battery via USB. Uh, and it lasts for several months, so you wouldn't have to charge it, but maybe once or twice a year. But the solar just keeps it uh, charged at all times, and that way you never have to think about it. Out of sight, out of mind. So I'm going to open it up, take out all the documentation, and you have, you have a few pieces here. You have the battery. So this is the battery unit for the My Smart Blinds Automation Kit. So this is what that solar panel will charge and this is also if you don't have a solar panel this is what you will need to charge via usb you don't have to remove it uh, i'll show you how you charge it once it's installed this is the actual motor this is the brains of the kit and of course this is going to connect to this and then last but not least you have the uh, the the controller so this is the part this also connects to the uh, motor but this is the part that's going to replace the manual one that you had. So this is going to go in that hole. There's a little piece of adhesive here to, to adhere it to the, uh, to the blinds themselves. And this is going to connect. And then on the bottom of that, that's where the USB port is. So you can charge your blinds. And this little hanger uh, actually pulls to manually open or close the blinds. So this is like an acts the motor if you don't want to do it from your smartphone. You would just put a little handle on that and pull that down, or you can even use your existing strings if you wanted to. All right, so let's go ahead and connect this all up. Now, before we do that, there's one more thing, and that's going to be in this box. 
actually a couple things here. This little box contains your accessories and what it's going to have in it uh, are, are clips for the wires. So these are little adhesive clips that you can put inside the blinds here uh, to kind of keep the wires managed. But more importantly, there's going to be a series of, um, I don't know, for lack of a better term, a series of these little, these little gears. What these are for, or I shouldn't say gears, these little uh, adapters, let's call them that. Uh, these are going to adapt your existing rod, that thing I pulled out, to the uh, motor itself. So you got to find the one that fits your rod. Uh, the rest are going to be useless. There's usually going to be only one in the kit that fits, your, fits the rod, and the rest you can just put away. So I already know which one it is once I see it. It's actually the biggest one in the kit for mine. It's this one, and I'm just going to put that one down, make sure I got the right one, and the rest can go back in the box because I won't need them. All right. Okay. So now, just to make sure, we're going to go ahead and test that. And I'm just going to make sure that that is the one that goes in because it's kind of a one-time deal. If you pick the wrong one, you're kind of hosed. All right. The reason I say it's a one-time deal is that this permanently goes inside the motor. So once I put that in, it kind of clips in. It's, it would be very difficult to get it back out. So now that's clipped in, make sure you got the right one. Otherwise, you're going to be kind of in trouble. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back in and just maybe do it there. Now, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and connect the battery to the motor. This only goes in one way, so that's the one way. And, of course, we can go ahead and connect the, um, the controller. This only, goes, this only goes in one way as well. There we go. We got that in. And at, while you're at it, you might as well get the solar panel ready. That way you can put this all in and it'll all be connected. So we're going to take this out. And we don't have to actually put the panel together just yet, but we do need the wire for it. Because that's going to also go in the motor. All right. And again, they're color coded. So this is the black one that goes in the bottom in one way all right so we have all three wires connected the controller the wire for the solar panel which is optional and the wire for the battery they all go in in, in their respective places all right so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put just put the battery in it kind of fits nicely right on top there and there's an on off switch we got to remember to turn that on when we're ready and then the motor is going to go in Kind of like in the spare space we've got here. So let's go ahead and pull that stuff over. Now this motor's got like a rubber casing on it. If it's hard to get in there with the casing on, you can of course take the casing off and then put the casing back on after the fact. But I, for my blinds, I can just go ahead and put it in all as one piece. And then here's the tricky part. We've got to get the rod to go into that adapter. There we go. And you want to make sure that once you get it in the adapter and slide it all the way in, that all two, two or three of your pieces are lined up. I made the mistake of making one not aligned, and it never worked, of course, until I took it back down and made it aligned. So these notches need to all line up so that they're all going the right way. All right, so we'll just go ahead and do that. There we go. And then we'll slide that all the way through. Now, at this point, you are pretty much ready to go. What you're going to be doing at this point is just tidying things up. So, for example, we're going to tuck the wires in. Now, if you have wires that interfere with anything, that's what these are for, is so that you can clip the wires onto the, the base of the blinds so that they don't get caught on anything. But mine are pretty clean on the inside, so there's not a whole lot to worry about. Uh, I will go ahead and apply them here, or use those uh, those adhesives here, because there will be some excess wire. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the rubber stopper back on. Now, I put them both. Originally, they were installed both on one side. I like to put one on each side. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, that will just keep the rod from sliding back and forth over time. So we'll put the other one in on this side. There we go. 
and now the rod will stay in place. And then last but not least, you can go ahead and put your clips in. There we go. Okay, so now last but not least, we need to take the controller, which is the dark gray one, and we need to feed it down. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and take the backing off of the tape. And we need to feed it down into that hole so that the USB port is visible and, of course, the um, pulley or pulley unit is visible. So I'm just going to go ahead and feed it back in. And you might put your clip in last. Here, let's put that in last. It's kind of in the way. go and I just want to visually make sure that not only is it straight but also that the USB port is visible there and it is all right so then I'll go ahead and stick it on apply a little pressure there and that will allow me to freely um, work the mechanism as as well as see the micro USB port for charging if I ever wanted to charge it manually and this is what I meant by the excess cable so now I've got this cable sitting here plus the cable for the um, solar panel. So I am gonna go ahead and take one of these adhesive clips, peel the backing off, put it in place, and then that way I can just go ahead and tuck some of this cable, excess cable into it. All right, and we gotta leave some of this left over because it's, it's gotta connect to the solar panel. All right, so at this point, we are almost ready to go. Don't forget, we're gonna to need to turn that on. But now let's get the solar panel ready. And you can, you can apply this one of two ways. Uh, if there's room for it, you can clip it right onto the ballast for your blinds. If not, they give you adhesive to physically attach it to your window. So I've done it both ways. I'm gonna go ahead and use the clips. And I'm just gonna go ahead and extend them all the way out. So that hang down far enough. And we'll go ahead and extend this one all the way out. And these are just going to clip onto the back of the blinds, like so. Like so. And they're going to hold your, your solar panel, which is somewhere here. Ah, here it is. And hold your solar panel against your window that's it and then of course we plug it in and luckily there's a plug on each side so if yours um if your wiring needs to be on the right side or left side doesn't matter all right plugged in ready to go we'll tuck away any excess wire tuck away all that excess wire just using one clip works great and now we're ready to turn it on and put it back in the window. So I'll be right back once I get it back in the window and we'll go through the app setup. But that's it, you've installed your blinds. Oh, I got that one last clip to put on and you are good to go. All right, the window or the blinds have been installed in the window and now I'm about to do the setup in the app. And the setup usually requires a firmware update because the firmware is newer than usually the blinds that are on the shelf. So let's go ahead and launch the app. And what I'll do here is go to the room that these are in. And as you can see, there's one already existing. That one's already solar powered and batteries charged. Let's go ahead and add blinds. And what it wants to do is it wants me to pull the, um, pull that little switch that I showed you before on the blind so it knows which one you're trying to set up. So I just manually did it. It's connecting to the blinds now. Found a new blind. And I'm just going to call this one right side bed. All right. So now you're going to go through a calibration process. So it knows what's open, closed, so forth and so on. So we'll go ahead and do calibrate. Next. So now the blinds are physically in the up position all the way as far as they can go. Then it will take them automatically to the down position as far as they will go. 
Back up to the up position. Back to the down position. And back up to the up position. And the app is now asking me, are they up or down? And they're defaulting to up. So I'm going to go ahead and say next. Then it opens them to an open position, which you can make some micro adjustments here. There are up and down buttons on the app itself. So if open isn't quite level or quite where you want it, you can nudge them a little bit up or down. So I just nudged it a little bit down to make them completely open. And we'll go ahead and do next. And then it says, okay, is that down? Yes, it is. No nudging required. Next. Is that up? No nudging required. We're good to go. Next. And we're finished. And here comes the firmware update, like I said. So firmware updates usually need to happen on every one of these that I've installed so far because... They're the ones in the box are older than the software. So we'll go ahead and do the firmware update. And yes, those are the ones. Go ahead and do it. And we'll come right back as soon as it's done. All right, the firmware just finished updating. So we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and press done. And now I have two, two of the four windows in this area uh, connected with the My Smart Blind. So the right side bed is there. That's the new one we just did. The sitting area, right, that one was already done. So if we go back, we can see some of the other rooms I've done and how many blinds I've gotten so far. So it looks like I'm up to seven. I've got 10, blind, 10 of these installed throughout my house so far. So out of 24 windows, almost halfway there. I probably won't do them all, but these are so cool. I love them. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the master suite and we can again control each one individually or for the room itself, you notice there's an open and close button. So if I just press open, it should open them and let there be light. We can also see in the app uh, that they're both getting decent sun, at least enough to start charging. So this is why I love the solar option because I just never have to think about it it will keep the blinds charged with that free energy we call the sun. All right, that's it for the My Smart Blinds. I love these blinds. I will continue to install them. They're Bluetooth operated, uh, so you do need to be somewhere near them if you're just going to use your phone. They do sell a, uh, a hub that connects to your Wi-Fi so they can be controlled um, whether you're home or not. And most importantly, for each room, you can set up a schedule. So that way they just open and close, kind of set it and forget it kind of thing. And I never have to think about it again. So um, love my blinds. Love the way they just open in the morning, close at sunset. And again, I never think about it. And one more feature before we go. And that is that they also have the ability to do uh, sun or heat tracking. So like if a room gets too hot, you can optionally have it set. So it'll just close the blinds automatically. So there are temperature sensors in that uh, kit as well. So things get a little too toasty in the room. It'll just automatically close the blinds as opposed to the schedule or in addition to the schedule. So with that said, my smart blinds, awesome accessory for your smart home. Cheers, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.